Hello there. How you guys doing? Happy Wednesday. <laughs> totally didn't forget what day it was. Um, I had weird sleep, so that's a thing. <laughs> but I'm okay. Just a tiny bit tired. But yeah, that's all. Uh, it's been... Like, basically the weather is doing a thing where uh, it was really hot for quite some time and now it's kind of grumpy that summer is over. So, it's been a bit unpredictable, which also means that I can't really leave the windows open so it gets a bit stuffy, so... Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Sleep is a work in progress. Um, totally also didn't have a nap right before the stream. <laughs> So, might also still be waking up just a tiny bit. Anyway, <laughs> hope you're all doing well today. Um, I'm... Well, I haven't added the Halloween poll to the uh, poll command. I'll do that now, because otherwise I'll forget again. And, um, yeah. So for those of you who don't already know, yes, we have floof. Um because I could not be bothered to re-braid my hair. Uh, happy birthday, by the way, even if it was yesterday. Yes, the floof could no longer be contained. <laughs> I need more sleep to contain the floof. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> but I'm doing all right, just saying I'm like a tiny bit more tired than I would prefer to be, but that's like, manageable. <laughs> there. And I'll add it. There. Save. Now it should work. So there we go. Both of them. Um, but yeah. Well, the, the Spooktober poll is gonna keep going till the end of the month. So we'll see how those games uh, end up doing on there. Um, I don't know how many games we'll get through. D is a game, just like all the other games. <laughs> um, I mean, I can add the GOG link to the part of the poll because for some reason most people don't seem to know what that game is but every other game is fine <laughs> so yeah just just look it up d the game it, it, it's a game <laughs> so <laughs> um and yes the, the name of the game is d <laughs> so anyway um but yeah, I put a bunch of stuff on there. Some of the games are just ones I've seen on GOG, so figured I'd add them as options. Maybe someone wants to see them. Um, didn't have too many Spooktober related game suggestions lately, so yeah. I padded it a bit with stuff I've seen over the years on GOG and that I have been curious about. So either way, um... I'll get the music ready for um, Ultima. Um, I played a different one, I think. Let's see. Did I put the wrong one on there? Um... Uh... You mean Vampire the Masquerade? Yeah, I played Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is Redemption. So I think that's the one before Bloodlines, maybe? I can't remember. Yeah, there you go. Um. Anyway. Uh, it's on there. If someone wants to see it, they can vote for it. I personally don't actually know anything about the game. You still have your collector's edition. Nice. If 
For me, I don't really have a very fancy game collection. Like, I have been buying some older boxed games because of streaming, but for then, um, my game collection, well, what was left of it was mainly just, uh, discs. Well, in their boxes, but like, well, the, like, big box era, I, I didn't really keep those. <laughs> so, I didn't have too many, but the ones I did have, I didn't keep, so. There we are. But they were mainly, like, edutainment type games, so, yeah. <laughs> Um, but let's see. All right, everything started up okay on the GOG side. So let's start up the game and see if I'll wake up as we play. <laughs> Hopefully I will. I'll try my best. There we go. And the sound effect. Lovely as ever. I mean, that, that sound effect is about as comfortable as getting water in your ear. So, that, that's nice. <laughs> I'm glad that's in there. Okay. And let's switch to some music. Hello, how are you doing today? Uh, that one. You're not doing good? Why is that? Alright, so last time we went through um, doing all the shrines and we got the crown. Not entirely sure where we currently are. Um, do seem to be at full health, but the ship isn't, so let's repair that. Yeah, that's better. Ship is repaired and it's dawn. All right. Um. Oh boy. Sorry to hear that. I've been having a bit of a rough night as well. Um, for me it was just up uh, storms and stuff keeping me from up. Uh, well, letting in enough fresh air to make it a reasonable temperature to sleep. So it's been a bit stuffy. So even though the heat wave is over, it's still warmer than usual. Because like the building needs to cool down a bit. As I said, the building still needs to cool down from the heat wave. So still a bit warm. And the other part is just lots of electronics in a small room. <laughs> so yeah, like for example, lights, those. Yeah, heat stuff up. Uh, monitors, two of them. Uh, yeah, so, like, my streaming setup gives off heat. More so than your normal, like, gaming setup probably would. So. But yeah, I've got three key lights. For those of you who know what key lights are. The Elgato ones, the big ones. So, yeah. Don't really have that much space to light the green screen as evenly as I would like. But, um, wait, which, which village was that again? Moonglow. All right. So, should know how to get back from here, I think. As I was saying, long story short, 
it just gets warm just from having all those electronics on and airflow has been a bit difficult to come by so that's why it's warm and the humidity is also still a bit silly um, no, I have not played that or heard of it. But basically, architecturally speaking, this place was uh, built for a colder climate than it's now located in. So. Yeah. Just what you end up with. I'm not sure where the lighthouse is. Uh, the, the building itself isn't that old, it's just not that well designed. So it's not about building age, it's about, like, it wasn't built for air conditioning. Um, it was built to, like, just take in air from the outside, but it does so very inefficiently. So, it, it's basically designed for, like, keeping the heat in and trying to get as much heat out of the sunlight as possible. So, I'm talking in that regard, not so much about, like, it being, like, an ancient farmhouse or anything. I mean, those might actually be better at handling the temperature. So. The issue here is more that it's just cramped and doesn't have adequate airflow to make up for that. If you just have a bigger space, that would probably be less of an issue. Oh, right. Numpad. Forgot about that one. Again. So, this is gonna be silly, isn't it? Um. Yeah. I'll just have you open the chest. There. I'm still curious why the only number keys that work when numpad is on when I start the game are 5 and 0. It seems very strange. Okay, closing game. Turning off numpad. Or numlock. Turning off the numpad. There. And now it should work. Yes. Good. So we've got some poison to deal with. Torch, exit this ship, board this ship, exit this ship. And then 
board this ship. Exit it. Exit that one. Board. Alright, so the idea of what I just did is, um, because the game is, well, old, um, uh, poor video game, the way it's designed, when you have a certain number of ships on the map, they start despawning, and that gets me into trouble, so that's why I try and forcibly despawn some ships to give me some room. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Because it keeps on throwing new pirate ships at me, so the problem isn't getting any better. So, yeah. And it keeps on despawning the closest ships instead of the ones that are further away. I mean, to be fair, I'm I'd have issues making a game that's even this good. So, there's that. Like, it's not like I could do any better than this, but it's still frustrating when it despawns the ship that I was just using. Alright, so I'm guessing we've got some stuff to sell. Might as well do that. Eventually. I'm doing well. A bit tired, but that's all. Eventually it's gonna be daytime again. I mean, it also feels like there would have been a more convenient way to allow you to pass time inside a village than to do it this way. <laughs> or to rent a room. But I guess this is just the penalty for not renting a room. Okay. Uh, we actually got attacked by Lord British in one of the earlier games and had to restart because we just get stuck in combat with him. But, um, yeah, so basically we were stealing stuff from him and, um, in that one, like, they could, like, see you steal stuff even through walls. So, basically we did something to upset him and he attacked us. And he was invincible. Unlike his guards. <laughs> so. It was a bit strange. Like, why does he even have guards if he's invincible and they aren't? It seems kind of inconsiderate to the guards. Ringmail. I think that's not the best type of armor. Think we have better stuff? I'll just double check because I can't remember ringmail being a thing. Um. Oh, ringmail is below scale mail. That's why I can't remember it because it's been a while since we outgrew that type. Um. Dagger, sling, flame oil, spear, short sword, and the morning stars. There. Alright. Got more gold again. So, the stuff we need to do now. So, we got a box, not sure what to do with that box. 
We've got the crown. We've got the magic carpet. Um, I know two of the things we're supposed to get are in the underworld. I'm just not sure what the best way to get there is. Because last time we were there, uh, <laughs> well, it was a bit tricky to get there in the first place because you need to find um, a whirlwind to sail into. And uh, I'm not sure how to get back. So I feel like we should try and find a better way in there. I'm just not sure who to ask about it. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe we'll find someone who would know. Not sure what this is about. Okay, so that one's locked. This is where Lord British should be. Still not quite sure what this is supposed to help me with. Like, it's just a map, I think. Um, can't get that carpet. Can I look at it? A carpet. True. <laughs> and that's an end table. Um, none of them. <laughs> no part of the UK. <laughs> I have been to the UK, but I'm not from there. Like, I've never even lived in the UK, so... Just for reference. <laughs> but I have been there on vacation. Yeah, I, I tend to have a strange accent to a lot of people. <laughs> you can try and guess where I'm from, it's pretty much tradition on this channel. Speaking of tradition on this channel, I just got an email from Twitch that apparently my affiliate anniversary is coming up. So it'll be six years since I became a Twitch affiliate. <laughs> Talk about tradition on this channel. <laughs> No, not Lithuania. Uh, I'm guessing you were trying to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I am not Dutch, but I do live in the Netherlands now. <laughs> But I don't think it's affected my accent noticeably. <laughs> I mean, I only just moved here properly, so. Let's get all of those. No, I'm not from Australia. Never actually been to Australia. <laughs>
I mean, I'd be surprised if it had changed my accent, because, like, I've had this accent for so long, and, like, I don't think it's affected that much by, like, being in a non-English speaking country. Because, um, if I am in an English speaking country, I tend to take on the local accent a bit more. But, uh, yeah, when I'm not, I tend to just have this. So. Basically, my accent is a bit of a sponge. I just take on whatever is around me. <laughs> I probably would, like, when I watch more Australian content, I also pick up the accent a tiny bit. So I used to watch some Australian Twitch streamers quite frequently. But they don't stream that much anymore, so not watching them as much anymore. But um, yeah, it had an impact on my accent for sure. But it's not really that strong with accents that aren't, like, from an English-speaking country. Which I think is interesting. Like, for example, I'm not, like, going to be tempted to take on a French accent. I mean, my guess for why it works that way would probably be because um, when it's like the local accent for the local language, there's a lot more consistencies in how people pronounce things. Whereas if it's more of a like an accent that's based on how English is a foreign language in that area. Uh, it, it's, well, a lot less consistent how people pronounce stuff. Because then it just is more based on English skills. So, um, we still should try and figure out how to get to the underworld without a ship. So I'll try and work on that. I mean, it's always nice to make sure we'll have enough gold to buy food once we need more. <laughs> Also to buy potion ingredients and stuff. Alright, let's rest for a bit. Um, you mean for the game? Um, I think specifically for uh, getting into the underworld, I would like a hint, yes. Because the way we've done it last time is sailing into the whirlwind, and that's just really annoying to do. <laughs> so, if there's a much easier way, then do let me know. So, uh, level five, that's gonna help a bit. Yeah, nice. I mean, that's another reason to 
fight all the things that keep attacking us. So, how are we doing on potion ingredients? Uh, we could use some more ginseng and garlic. Okay. Um, Lord British Journey in the Underworld. Is that in the manual? Where would I be reading that? So, let's buy the ingredients for a tiny bit low on. There. Ah, right. <laughs> I keep forgetting that URLs are still blocked. Um. All right, so I'll be checking the manual. I mean, I thought I already checked it enough, but I can check it again. So let's see. We've got the clue book. I mean, I could also check the clue book. We've got the manual. We've got the spell book, and we've got the book of law. Um, I think the book of law had no information about the underworld other than um how the dungeons were closed journal okay uh I'm guessing that might be the clue book no? Is that just not part of what you get in the GOG version? I don't see it. Yeah, I have talked to people in various towns, it's just difficult to know who to ask about what. I mean, I can't ask every single person about every single word in the dictionary. <laughs> it was part of the original box, okay. Interesting. So, let's check that. No, they didn't include it. Um, okay. Let's read the journal. 27th day of the 11th month of the year 137. Herein is detailed the Odyssey of His Majesty Lord British as recorded by Remo, scribe of the court of Lord British. With us on, his, on this journey into the uncharted underworld, venture the knights... Um... Uh, bunch of names. Ah, <laughs> uh, but none of them are ones that I'd be comfortable, like, pronouncing and, like, being, like, sure that I got the pronunciation right. Um, but yeah, bunch of people. That's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six nights. Uh, at dawn we set off on our skiff. Um, down the river, Malastorm, east of Spiritwood. Before the falls, we pause to remember the brave men who discovered this entrance to the underworld. The cast off and repeat their plunge into the lightless underground water. Uh, lightless underground waterway. Okay, so the river east of Spiritwood before the falls, and then we sail into the, the falls. Okay, so Spiritwood. Um, I think Spiritwood was. Um, 
where were the waterfalls? Let's see. Spirit Wood is um there. So that's towards the south of the island. So I'll just have to find the waterfall there. Alright. Yes, they're clothed. Otherwise I'd probably go through those, but... Yeah. Fall. That one, probably. Okay. Um, yeah, I've saved. I've mainly just been running straight across the map. So. Like, there's not much new stuff to save at this point. Just trying to find my way back to the castle at this point, because uh, that is where I parked my ship. We'll find it eventually. I mean, we've got more than enough ships already. <laughs> Don't need to buy a new one. I mean, I guess I could maybe use the carpet to do it. Maybe that would be a better idea. I might try that. Be a lot more convenient. So back we go. <laughs> and we encounter all the enemies. Bear is stocked up on food, stocked up on ingredients. So I think we're good to go. And we've got decent weapons and armor. There. And deal with the poison. Yeah, I'll be saving before we go through the waterfall. If we even manage to go through it. There. Save. And let's rest. There. Nice Lord British is here to heal us faster. Very convenient. And off he goes. Save again. And use magic carpets. Locked. Okay. So that doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Any other waterfalls around here? Ooh. 
rough water is there. I'm guessing that is the waterfall. Don't know where another one would be. So let's go get an actual ship. Oh, there's another one. Nope. But I don't know if we could go under the bridge. Flying carpets should come with headlights. Because, I mean, like, presumably that's faster than walking. Like, I feel like we should have more lights here. It doesn't seem safe to just be flying around in the dark. Carpet with headlights next time. But yeah, there's one of the blocked dungeons. Collapsed entrance to the dungeon of wrong. Or the dungeon wrong. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Dungeons are very much closed. So. I mean, I don't know if it says the names of the rivers anywhere. At least on the map. So I might double check that that's the right river. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem to say the names. So we'll just have to figure out which one it is. I'll just actually get a ship for this. told to do something in Cove. Um, hmm. What was it about Cove? There. Seek out the twin sisters in the hidden city of Cove. Ask them of the Shard of Falsehood. So, Shard, are you the avatar of legend? Yes. Virtue makes no mistakes. We shall tell thee what we know of the Shard of Falsehood. Okay. So, we are in Cove. Talking to Ava. Side note, very annoying place to end up with a mosquito bite. Right here on your writing hand. <laughs> so, anywhere my thumb would have been better than that spot, because that's where I'm holding my pen. <laughs> Great! So, pro tip, don't get a mosquito bite there. It's annoying. So, 
We shall tell the what? We know the sheriff's falsehood. Ask my sister for her vision. Okay. And ask about sister. Leona. Yep, this is Leona. <laughs> Ask about vision. In the deep of night, many moons ago, a vision came onto my sister and I. Okay. We saw the shadow of falsehood deep below the dungeon named Deceit. Deep below a dungeon named Deceit. There. Neat that we ended up here. Oh, uh. Fine, I didn't expect that much information. Vision. Ah, uh, the path that was revealed. First southwest across many high peaks, opening to a large system of caverns. Okay. gonna be a long paragraph of instructions on how to get there I guess um the path traveled first southwest Across many high peaks. Opening to a large system. Of caverns. Then the way led southwest, major intersection in it turned northwest, soon branching northeast. Okay. Led southwest. At a major intersection, it turns northwest, soon branching northeast. After a long journey northwards, the passage turned west. Here the path went on to rocky hills to the southwest, then turned northwest. 
Good thing it's not a super convoluted path. Bundespräsidenten, Stich für Wiederholungsverschiebung. Went on to the Rocky Hills. Southwest, then turn northwest. You done yet? <laughs> Over Lake it ran onto a massive series of great falls ending in a larger lake. <sighs> No, over a lake. And then the large lakes at the end. So. On to a massive series of great falls. On a small isle lies the shard of falsehood. I mean, imagine being able to give uh, such precise directions about a vision you had years ago. <laughs> I mean, I probably couldn't give directions like that if I'd actually been there. Like, I'd need notes. Not sure I could even give directions that precise, just like, going to the fridge. going there. Okay, there's a moon gate. Oh, there's... okay. Made it to the castle. Alright. <laughs> Rest. Mm. 
now we just need to sail to the other side of the island. No big deal. Alright. Um, I haven't actually checked it, no. But speaking of music... There we go. I haven't really been looking up much about the games, trying to avoid spoilers and stuff. And then after finishing I didn't really think about, like, looking at the music. Bam! Let's just rest for a bit, until it's hopefully not night time. if this would be the right spot. Let's see. Probably not. Scar Bray. Okay. Where was that again? Okay, it's kind of close to where I was trying to go. Just need to sail around this thing. I could have checked the river that goes into the forest from here. Should be around there. Okay. So we can go under bridges. That's going to be important to know. Save again. There. Okay, I hear a waterfall. Okay. 
save. Underworld. There we are. So... I want to see if I could have done that on the carpet. Now that I know how to get there. that on the carpet. Neat. Oh boy. Two of them? Really? Wasn't one enough? One possessed so far. Fine. Everyone else is just gonna leave. Calm down. Guess we won. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Could rest for a bit. Nice of him to fully heal us. All right. Okay, I think we're doing a lot better now. Actually, we could just wear the crown and maybe the demon possession wouldn't work anymore. Since wearing the crown shouldn't have a bad effect. I mean, the crown sounds awfully convenient. So, it does seem like we're supposed to use it. Try using magic against me now, ha. Huh? Waterfall over here. Can't take a waterfall back. Okay. Still 
still don't know how we'll get back. Earthquake again. They do have a lot of earthquakes down here. Well, let's see if the demons can still be their thing. I hope not. I mean, I'm pretty sure they won't shy away from trying to possess us. Seems it might work. Which would also make it a lot easier to fight Blackthorn. Because I think Blackthorn was summoning a bunch of demons. I mean, I'm not even sure he'd still be able to summon demons if I'm wearing a crown. But yeah, this is way easier. Nobody can hit anything. There. Finally killed it. Wow. Main character is low on health. <sighs> Let's see if we can get some rest. Guess we can try again. Probably should have set a watch, but there. This time we will. Already rested. Gonna try and go back to full health. Oh, Lord British is spawning quite frequently down here. How nice of them. Still don't know how to get back up. So I'm reluctant to save, but eventually we'll have to.
Also, how much could an earthquake affect you if it's happening below you while you're flying on a magic carpet? As I was saying. I have a lot of earthquakes down here. And some, some incredibly long nights. Alright, let's uh, view a gem. Let's see. What was the description of where we're supposed to go? Um... Oh, forgotten in the underworld amongst the graves of valiant warriors. Um, with it you'll find your path through the unholy darkness which will block your way. So I'm guessing... The amulet is also going to be important for finishing whatever our overarching goal is this game. Um, okay. Uh, you'll find the Black Keep Stone Gate guarded by Balnor, Phallus of Demons. Uh, This is the earthly domain of three shadow lords from which few have returned. I'm not sure where that is. Um, fine, sail to the southernmost part of Lost Hope Bay, travel as far as your skiff will take you. Uh, some speak of a special implement used to cross the mountains, climb your way. There you'll find Black Keep Stone Gate. Okay, so it seems we're not looking for the castle, we're just looking for the graves. I think. So, Forgotten in the Underworld amongst the graves of Valiant Warriors. We'll just have to find that somewhere. Um, bam. Presumably we're supposed to find that. And what was the last one? Scepter, I think. Um, hmm. There, yeah. Crown jewels, crown, scepter, amulet. Uh, scepter can disperse all magical barriers. I hear it's held by the Shadow Lords in their earthly fortress. So we're just looking for the amulet. That settles that. So where could those graves be? be rough to get around the waterfall. But it might be possible. Okay, random bats. I didn't see those coming. But okay. But yes, their accuracy is... Well, wow. 
They'd make some pretty good stormtroopers. <laughs> I mean, presumably it would take quite a bit of skill to be in front of a crowd of enemies and manage not to hit a single one. It's like they were trained by knife throwers. <laughs> To work for a circus. Just maybe not the right skill set for this job. We are trying to hit those bats. There we go. That's a lot of bats. But at least here they're more limited in where they can attack us. to go. That last bat really doesn't want to come over here. Come here, bat. We did pick up the carpet. More bats. still wearing the crown. I don't really see it on the screen. I guess we'll find out once we're out of combat. Because if we somehow used up the crown, that's gonna be a problem. I don't remember taking it off.
so what happened to the crown? Oh, there it is. I could just wear it. Oh boy. Yeesh. Last time we had issues fighting those. Let's see how we'll fare now. Them aiming skills. Sure, they're shuddering in fear. Those creatures are rough. Yeah, that's ah. <laughs> uh. the others. <laughs> Health levels are not looking good. better now that there's fewer of them. But we'll still have to find a way out of the underworld. That's the thing I'm a bit <laughs> uncertain about. I hope there is a way out. One. 
We did it. <laughs> oh, they... They deserve that. <laughs> So, gonna check if the uh, journal says anything about how they got out of the underworld. Um, hmm. Not sure. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I said journal. <laughs> I don't think I've said the word urinal many times in my life. Because <laughs> I, I haven't had many reasons to say that word. <laughs> so, I think we'll save. And then we'll just be stuck here. I do want to know that there's a way out of here, just in case we really, really need it. Okay. <laughs> yes, a new urinal entry. <laughs> so, Ultima 5, Underworld. I do hope there's a way out of there. Um. Here it doesn't actually list how to get out of it. Because I, I just want to know that I won't be ruining my entire playthrough by saving in here. So, yeah. <laughs> Not sure. Hmm. Enter the underworld, blah blah. Hmm. Yeah, as I said, I I don't think I've said the word urinal many times in my life, so... Yeah. It's a word I kind of... A word that I kind of forget exists. <laughs> because I use it so rarely and I also don't hear it that frequently. <laughs> so I know the word, it's just... Yeah, like... It, at the edge of my mind, not like something I would like. It's a word I would probably have issues coming up with if I was trying. <laughs> Alright. Still want to know about how to get out of the underworld. Because I don't trust this. Um. Sh 
shrines. Um, great. Yeah, so we're supposed to find the scepter. Or, no, no. We're supposed to find the amulet down here. Um. But how do we get out of the underworld? <laughs> hmm. Like, how, how do I exit the underworld? Still having issues figuring that out. Even looking at the walkthrough, like, haven't found the spot where it goes, hey, this is how you get out of the underworld. <sighs> I just don't know. No, we don't have the amulet. We're trying to look for the amulet. I just want to know if I'll be able to get out of the underworld or if I'm missing an item. So... Basically, um, we have been to the underworld before, I just never saved while in the underworld because I never figured out how to get back. So, it's like, all the entrances we found are one way. Like a waterfall. Uh, so I'm hesitant to save because I don't want to ruin my playthrough by possibly getting myself softlocked. And it's not like Ultima games don't have ways to get yourself softlocked. Just saying, food. Like, in several of the previous games, I needed to save game edit, otherwise I would have had to restart. So, I don't trust Ultima games to not have softlocks in them. There. How do I leave the underworld in Ultima 5? Reddit to the rescue. Um. If you follow the waterway all the way south, there's a dungeon entrance that will take you back to the surface. Okay. Um. Hmm. So if you're high enough level, you can use the gate travel spell? Ah. Uh. You might also just let yourself die? That's an option. Uh, apparently you need to open the portals, or the, the, the dungeons. So, follow the waterway all the way down, dungeon entrance for the dungeon to spies. It will take you back to the surface. Um, and then the person says, yeah, didn't figure out how to enter the dungeon because it was closed. But th the dungeons are still closed, so... And then... Someone else mentioned that to get to the underworld, you usually climb to the bottom of one of the dungeons, which we haven't opened. Um, so. And if you go through one of the other ways, then you need to die, find a dungeon, and climb back up, possibly. Uh, hmm. Oh, if you... You can use a moonstone and use it down in the... Nice. I think I might do that. So, you can... Uh, dig up a moonstone and... Uh, carry it and then 
bury it in the underworld. Okay. I mean, that's good to know. And um, let's see if we can manage to find a way out of here. So, let's rest. Nice of him to get us back to full health. That should help. Alright. I was hoping that there would be a way back that's easier than... Oh, by the way, you needed to, like... Get ready to, like... Get back there. I mean, considering you can end up here by accident, it just feels like there should be a way back that's easier than, like, needing to figure out how to open the dungeons from down here. Maybe we can somehow make dynamite. Or maybe the magical unlock spell could do it. We'll see if we find the dungeon. Alright, so... Magic carpet. So... If I read it right, somewhere south is where we're supposed to go. Try and go this way or that way. That might lead me to the right area. Because I don't think these are connected enough. So this will probably just end somewhere. Yep. Just like that. Yeah. Exactly. I like how the underworld is built like a giant labyrinth of cages. Like, it's like one of those giant hamster tunnel system things. But it feels like there's no way out. I mean the ones where you can like build your own custom tube formation for your hamster to run through. <laughs> hmm. 
Because those mountains are blocking the way. Okay, so I need to go all the way around there. Way. Or not. Where is this going? <laughs> what is this? I am confused. And I'm being attacked by a bunch of bats. But yeah, I'm still hesitant to save down here because not entirely sure if there will be a way to get out of here without losing levels. And I do not approve. going this way. I am most definitely going north, but... <laughs> oh no. Uh, I don't want to fight those right now. <laughs> Did I just not... I'll just pretend they're not there. I'm sure that's gonna work. Okay, so can't go back up there. I am glad I have the carpet. the dungeon there. I guess I could try and get out here and then just fly along the coast. So maybe if I go back up this way. So, how do I get down there? I could try that path. <sighs> I 
I, I have no issues mapping mazes, but this is a rough one. <laughs> Like, so these mountains right there are just the way to stop me from going there. So, basically, this entire section is just closed off from there. Yay. So how do I get over there? I mean, I don't want to use a map for this, but <laughs> maybe eventually we'll have to resort to using one. I'd just rather not. Okay, so I can go around that way. Looking for graves and looking for dungeon entrance. And looking for a way for my torches to last more than five seconds. But I assume that's not part of the game, finding a way to like, not have your torches go out immediately. No clue where the actual dungeons are. I think I found one previously. As in one of the other times that I got stuck in the underworld and ended up reloading. I was just kind of hoping that, like in the previous game, there would just be a way to get out of the underworld. <laughs> like, just having another ship to sail through another whirlwind with. Something like that. carpet and rest. Okay. Not as rest as I, as I would have liked, but it'll do. There's 
go anywhere. None of us goes anywhere. Oh, when you rest, you take the crown off. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, dang it. What is this? Why are we here? What are these? What worm? Okay. Weird. Even the number of torches we need to just navigate is annoying. <laughs> I mean, what are these? Torches or matches? aiming skills. Finally. <laughs> Random tentacle. Neat. Corpsers. Okay. How am I supposed to Saw something. What am I supposed to do with those? nothing there there finally <laughs> any more hey apparently it was just two Weird. Yes, that's a very annoying enemy. It reminds me of fighting the floor as the final boss. There. 
Okay. I wonder if that means that there's corpses nearby, as in a graveyard. use a torch in combat. I mean it's nice that at least even if it's dark we can see our enemies. Imagine if you had to fight while only seeing this far. bunch of waterfalls and then down another waterfall did I leave that thing maybe but we are still in the underworld So how did I get out last time? If that's mine. Maybe it's not mine. I'm confused. Let's switch the next track. Hoping not to see them again for a while. This track loops a bit strangely. a barrier.
one perk about having so many enemies all at once who can drop loot chests. You can have a wall of loot chests. Carpet and rest. Okay. Let's keep doing that. Until we're preferably fully rested, because if we encounter those bat creatures again, we'll be in trouble. But there we go, Lord British to the rescue. Track again. Mm. That one. Okay, so there is a path from here. So I'll go follow that. Maybe that's gonna lead me to where I'm supposed to go. Like maybe Lord British came down there and that's how there's that boat there. Of course, every creature is trapped down here. the bats. I do think the game wouldn't have been worse if the swarms of bats were a bit... ah. If they had fewer bats in them. tedious. But I guess I'm just committing bat genocide. Because I mean I'm killing hundreds of bats down here. Get over here. Or not.
There we go. Okay. Well, good thing we healed. Um, it absorbs magic when the enemies use it. So I think it helps against demons. So that's why we couldn't cast magical spells to get the crown, because it absorbs magic. I mean, presumably we'd still be allowed to cast magic now that the crown is ours, but for the enemies it wouldn't work. I think technically the entire group is wearing the crown. <laughs> because use it the same way as the carpet, not as an item you equip, so. I feel like they're all just wearing the crown together and walking really awkwardly. Trying to balance the crown like, on their heads. I was about to say, not a single loot chest. Of course it has to be on the last one. the gate travel spell. Let's see. Um. Ash, Pearl, Mandrake. We should have all those. It's the eighth circle. Um. 
Gonna check in the lore book. So. Um. I'm not sure how we know we're going to be powerful enough to do that spell, other than just trying it. I guess we'll just have to try it. Maybe that's gonna work. There we go. Maybe wearing the crown makes Lord British be suspicious of us and want to check in on us to make sure that we're still planning on giving the crown back eventually. Because I feel like he's spawning more frequently. At least we'll probably level up by doing all of this. Getting into plenty of combat. I'm curious what the dungeons are going to look like on the inside. It's going okay. It's keeping us quite busy. We're currently in the underworld. Trying to find the amulet. And also trying to find a way out. Uh, Lord British Samulet? Hope I don't need to explain who Lord British is. Yeah, I know you know, it's just... I was making a joke. But yeah, in this one we're supposed to find the amulet, the scepter, and the crown. And we found the crown so far. Right. 
Come on, bats. I do definitely like the design of the bat. manage to kill all the bats without getting injured by the bats we might still end up uh, having characters hit each other but Creatures hiding here. As long as we can continue not getting hit, at least, well, barely getting hit. be possible to get through all of them. Definitely gonna have to try and not get hit before we deal with the mung bats or whatever they're called. This formation seems to work quite well for when we're in the mountains fighting a giant group. Because the bats do move quite fast. Just like the mong bats. Or whatever their proper name is. I'm guessing they're supposed to be like the flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz. 
because those kind of have bat wings. Dead. Good. I mean, maybe this time we'll manage to do it without getting hit. I probably just jinxed it. Yeah, I think I did. So much for not getting hit. Yeah, some treasure chests would be quite nice. one. There's another one. Right when there's not that many left. in this game do in some cases seem to have better pathfinding than some units in XCOM. Just gonna point that out. where we are. Ah, right. Took the wrong turn. Okay. Oh. Those tentacle thingies again. But that means that maybe this is where the graveyard is? That'd be nice. Like, big open grassy area. With those tentacle thingies. Maybe.
the, the entire area is full of those. Does make it seem like there might be something here. What was that? Oh, it it tried to eat my character and then regurgitated. Great. One way to do damage. So follow. That's a lot of bats. other <laughs> yes we did Yes, the questions have mainly been, what? There's a game called D? <laughs> Not sure why that name is so weird compared to all the other names we've got out there. Yeah, I mean, it saves printering. Sure. Also probably easier for the design team to, like, make a logo for the game. <laughs> There's a sequel called D2 as well. Good.
Now we try and rest again. Hopefully without bats now. There. Nice. Okay. A really big open area. And a dragon. <laughs> Currently not wearing the crown, so I hope it won't spawn a demon. You hear me, dragon? Don't spawn a demon. Don't do it. I know you want to, but don't. the demon. Told you not to spawn one. Of course it possessed someone. What I get for not wearing the crown. Just don't spawn another demon. Looks like it leads somewhere important. Yeah, uh, earlier I was mentioning how, like, even on days where it's not that warm outside, it gets silly woman here. Um, it was around 25 at the start of the stream, it's now 28 because, as I mentioned, because of the weather I can't really have the windows open. So, <laughs> yeah. That's what I was talking about regarding like, this place is not built for good airflow and not built for the climate it is now in. So, so where's that crypt? Oh, the, the, the no, not crypt. Where's the dungeon supposed to be? I can't see it. 
It's nowhere to be found. And this place is huge and a maze. And those are earthquakes. Right. <sighs> I don't like attacking creatures in the swamp. Because we can't sit on our magic carpet during combat. place. Why there's so many dang earthquakes. <laughs> Alright, I'll look up a map. <laughs> so... Still not sure where we are. Say what the different things are. Because that would be nice if they did. There. Something. Maybe. <laughs> um. No. I. I don't think I have. Why? In general, I don't really, like, look at the games that much before I play them to, you know, not know what's gonna happen. <laughs> kind of the point. save that image because the website is on the website the image is on is glitchy all right <laughs> so there does seem to be something that we might be able to interact with I go um It's a really strange re resolution for some reason. Okay. 
So we go up here. Because that's the only way out of the other area. how we'll get back. We'll figure it out. Yeah, exactly. Kinda expected that to happen. How about here? You can go around that one. Okay. Should be able to go around that one. There. There's a sign here. So, some sort of historical thing, because otherwise, why would there be a date at the bottom? Okay, I'll try and get to one of the other ones. Of course, there's one of those sea creatures. I mean, the dragon kind of makes sense that those spit fire, but these sea creatures I'm not so sure about. it. <laughs> Is it in here? There! There, that's the closed dungeon. Okay. Finally. So, how do we open it? <laughs> Um... I mean, I can try the spell. 
Or just open? Nothing to open. Um, collapsed engines. Let's see, do we have any spells to deal with that? Your poison awaken magic missile? Eh, it's just in combat. Light, heal, unlock, repel undead, locate, call animal, wind change, ball of fire, ball of poison, blink, ball of sleep, ball of flames, bright light, dispel field, downward move, protection, protection field, upward move, reveal, magic lock, insect swarm, magic unlock, sleep, quickness, great heal, charm, negate magic. Tremor, Confuse, X-Ray, Poison Wind, Fear, Peer, Clone, Invisibility, Kill, Time Stop, Flame Wind, Resurrect, Cone of Energy, Summon, and Gate Trowel. Yeah, I don't think any of those are gonna open the door. Okay. Maybe I can figure out where the gravesite is? Because that would help. Oh, maybe it was in the other area with the sign that had the date on it. I guess I'll have to translate it. So many bats. I mean, what do the bats even want with us? Pretty sure they can't eat humans. I mean, just look at their tiny faces. How are they gonna eat a human? Maybe. Mosquitoes. I mean, I'm glad that, oh, you know, your average mosquitoes aren't the size of bats. Because, oh boy. I mean, it, they would be easier to find and easier to keep out. But imagine being attacked by a mosquito the size of a bat outside, or a swarm of them. It sounds kind of terrifying. I mean, didn't there used to be giant insects back in, like, dinosaur times? Yes, yeah, th earthquakes. So many earthquakes. There, safe spot again. So 
now I need to actually translate this. <laughs> All right. Does it list the runes anywhere in the manual? Might just be in the previous game's manual. Just rely on the runes I wrote down for the previous game. Okay. So they'll take the notes on a different notepad. Because <laughs> otherwise this will get very confusing. I mean it's already confusing enough, but all right, so that first letter, that's uh, an H, then second letter is an E, I think, yes, H, E, R, E. And then that could be a K, and then a P, or it could be a U. Um, so I think it's a U, a V, or a K. And then, yeah, the letter afterwards is a P. And then... That's an O? I think? And then an N. So hereupon, hereupon, B, E, G. and N. Hereupon began. What could that letter be? Ah, that's T H. Hereupon began the. Then U or B, probably a U. E and S T. Hmm. Not sure about this letter. Do I have a better option for it? 
than an F. Because an F is my closest guess for that. I mean, I think that's an F. Alright. I'm just not sure about it. Because then it's F. U E S T. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just continue on. Began the Oh, so that's an F. That's an O. So this can't be an F. I don't have a Q in my thing, but I'm guessing it's Quest. But this alphabet didn't have that letter. Okay, I'm gonna look up the runes for Ultima 5 because I feel like I'm missing the cue. Okay. Yep, there's a cue in this one. All right. Hereupon began the quest of and then H I S Yes His Majesty probably Here's M A. What's that one? Oh, that's a J. The J in the previous alphabet was different. Uh, e. Thank you for the sub. Forty-one months is a long time. Hope you're doing well today. Okay, Majesty. Well, it's a long time to be subscribed to this channel. Aren't you one of the people who would have a first badge, but you switched it off? Nice. So, His Majesty, probably Lord British. Yeah. E. 
X. P. Explore and chart. TH. E. B. N. E. And. The new you underworld, probably. Yeah, um, der. So what it says is hereupon began the quest of his majesty Lord British to explore and chart the new underworld on and the date. Well, doesn't sound like a graveyard to me. It's just a they started exploring here. Fine. So what do we do with that information? Because, I mean, I, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> the underworld seems quite sectioned off. So I don't think we can go to a different area from here. So I don't know how it would get to the amulet. I mean, it's supposed to be in a forgotten graveyard. Well, look it up, I guess. Along the western coastline, there's supposed to be something. Okay. I mean, I remember last time we found an island that was only accessible by boat. 
I'll see if I can find it again. It looks like it might be over this way based on the map. No, not that one. So how did I get to that island last time? It's not here either. Because I do remember seeing it. Like, there was a building on there and everything. part again. I already recognize that part. Okay. Yeah, that's back up where we were. didn't have to go up that waterfall. on the western coastline. Better description of where I'm supposed to find the amulet. There. Fine, so I don't have all the information yet to get to it. Alright. So I just need to get back out of the underworld. Didn't expect to need anything fancy to get something out of a graveyard, but... 
For what I saw, we need a word of power? That we're supposed to be told by someone else? Like, I don't know why that would be, but... Oh well. So I guess the amulet was placed there on purpose, because otherwise why would I need a password for it? Alright, let's try and use the gate travel spell. See if we can get out of the underworld. Now that we know that there's nothing here for us, basically. So... It's Ash, Pearl, and Mandrake. And the spell is called Vazrel 4. There. Ash. Pearl. Mandrake. And we'll mix two. Okay. Now try and cast it. Buzz. Rel. Four. Failed. Dang it. So how am I ever going to figure out when I'm able to cast this? <laughs> Magical abilities directly related to their intelligence. Okay. So, how do I figure out what intelligence we've got? 29? Okay. I'm guessing that's too low. 17, 18, 23, 16, 19. Yeah. So 29 is the highest intelligence we've got. So, yeah, I don't know how to get out of the underworld. I guess I'll look up how to open the dungeon. Cause... I'm still stuck. out there somewhere. Dungeon. Okay, so it's a word to open the dungeon. So the only way to get back would be to either know the word for the dungeon or to die, I think. I guess I can check if we can just look up the word. Same. 
Uh, Villis is apparently the word of power. And afterwards, I'll go to the guy who would have told me that. <laughs> I just want to not be stuck, and I want to be able to keep my experience points, that's all. But yeah, the thing I was worried about is the exact thing that happened. We basically got softlocked in terms of the game. Like, I'd say that's not a reasonable way to get through to the dungeon, needing to Google it. <laughs> Definitely need to rest, because if we get attacked, we'll be dead. Let us sleep. to be at full health. There we go. Thanks, Lord British. Okay. And let's uh, put on the crown. And use the magic carpet. Figure out where we are. Okay. Yeah, I think I know where that is. And now we have to fight these. Which is why I needed to heal. Because, <laughs> oh boy. Great to stay in. Thank you. 
so many of them. I don't like it. And neither do the characters, because they're getting butchered. This better give us decent XP. Oh boy. Close. one from leaving. Dang it, someone died. Figured that might happen. I'll just have to try and do the resurrection spell. That's also an eighth circle spell. I think we can't do that yet. All right, we'll just have to figure out some other way to resurrect. Might be able to do that at healers' places. We'll see. Fighting bats, apparently. Oh, it's right. Main character is quite low health. He needs to be protected just a bit. Uh, because the mountains are too tall for me to fly over. went back to that, but <laughs> I just kept on going, fine, no, just, just the main character, nobody else, nobody else gets to do anything.
Well, the difference is that with a raft, you can't just pick it up and put it in your pocket. Because I am also going over land, not just the river. So that's why I'm specifically using the magic carpet, not the raft. Because the raft is really difficult to take along. There. Can't go up the waterfall. So, what I need to do is climb over here and then get back on the magical carpet. I don't have any more torches. Oh boy. How are we going to get through a dungeon without torches? this game. Alright, that's gonna be something. I mean, I guess I could try and mix the light spell, but I don't know how long that one's gonna hold. But I guess for the dungeon I'll do it. more cryptic than the others. <laughs> Like, telling you to go to the underworld, giving you three different- or two different ways to go to the underworld, one of them you end up doing by accident, and there being no way back. Unless you do the super cryptic stuff. And with the underworld itself being a giant maze that's just full of enemies and, like, you can barely see what's going on. Come on, kill that bat, finally. <sighs> Having to resurrect one character is gonna be plenty. I don't want to do two of them. Come here, bat. supposed to be around here somewhere, I think. And now we're fighting rats.
Can you make it over here, please? Do we have to come over there? Find me. Here. Come on, rat. Tasty humans. Finally. Am I even in the right area? I don't know. I wasn't. Where did I go? Oh no. <laughs> Could I maybe, like, heal at some point? That would be nice. Because having to work around the main character, not being able to, like, get hit once is really annoying. <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah, walk towards the bats, that's gonna help. <sighs> I don't like the underworld part. Yep. There goes quite a bit of that health. We're not gonna have the main character be killed by bats, thank you. Yes, I did just hit the other character. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> yes, I'm still in the underworld. I'm not happy about it. Come on! Stop! That spiked helmet is getting really annoying as well. Because since I can't have the main character at the front, <laughs> I can't use that attack, so I just need to click past it every single time. Oh, and we also ran out of torches. So this is life now. Let's just try and rest. Let's not set a watch. If we get killed, we get killed. Oh, we better not get killed. Alright. Slightly more health. Perfect for fighting rats. Oh, 
bits. Like the previous games had exploitable mechanics. And this game just has mechanics that are meant to cause suffering. Like the one with the boats. Where the game goes, oh, whoopsies, the boat you just got off of despawned. Shame you're stuck on this island now. Oh well. Shame your torch goes out every five steps. Shame nobody in the underworld seems to be carrying new torches. No, I did not get the amulet because apparently we're missing stuff to do that. <laughs> so, yeah. We didn't get anything. I had to look up the word of power to try and open the dungeon that we're trying to reach. Preferably without having more than one character die, because we've already had one death. And I'm feeling a bit exhausted. <laughs> but it's also 28.4 degrees in here, so. Yeah, being able to let in some fresh air would be nice. Not today. <laughs> Dang it. Why are we here? I didn't think there was... Oh fine, at the end of that path is swamp. Right. Of course. How could I ever forget? <laughs> swamp. The one thing we were missing. <laughs> the game being like this. Oh, of course the slime divides. Why wouldn't it? And it keeps dividing. Lovely. Why are the other ones managing to kill it, but the main character is just making an entire... Well, bathtub full of slime. <sighs> yes. The game is just trolling me. Non-stop. It's going, oh, you were trying to make progress. Well, we can't have that. Would be weird to make progress in a video game.
So much slime. I just want everyone to be full health so we can try and get through the dungeon. <laughs> or I guess alternatively we'll just go for the death option. <laughs> Because I'm so done with the underworld now. <laughs> oh, very done. Just want to get back to the surface, that's all. Slime. Finally. Now we try and rest again. Yes, we will set someone to keep a lookout. Oh goody, we got ambushed by bats. Just what we needed. <laughs> Could the game please stop trolling? <laughs> We've had enough trolling now. Because the thing is, whenever we get ambushed, we don't actually recover any health. <laughs> We're just busy being in combat. And then we're busy being in combat, and then we're busy being in combat, and then we're busy being in combat, because we're just... ...getting the most annoying enemies on top of everything else. Bats and slimes, really now. <laughs> Is that really a necessary game? I don't think so. Yeah, true, better than slimy bats. from the bats. Get ambushed again. 
Oh, and now nobody's back. Whatever. Oh, we got ambushed. I didn't want to win that bet. I'll just mix the healing spell. I'm so done trying to heal. Yes, yes, I got trolled. <sighs> All right. So, how do you mix the healing spell? The spell is Mani and it's Ginseng and Silk. Okay. And we'll mix 20 of those. What's the question? Because one egg is enough. I'm guessing. Yeah, huh? Yeah. I wasn't gonna pronounce it properly, but. I'm not so smart, I've just heard that joke before. <laughs> I'm so done. So very, very done with the underworld. Can we shoot the underworld into the sun? I mean, it seems very unlikely for that to work without also shooting the overworld into the sun, but we should try. Just, you know, might be worth the risk. this time. Finally. Okay. No, that's past. Yell? And what was the word of power? V-I-L. I S. There. 
Lord of Power is uttered. Yes. Why doesn't it open? It's supposed to open. Is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? Do I have to uh, uh, throw a red gem at it, then like dance around in a circle? Uh, pat my head three times, and then yell the word backwards and then forwards. Like, yes, I'm wandering around yelling at the mountains. <sighs> it's still not opening. It's still collapsed. So how is this actually supposed to open? <sighs> yeah, no clue. So we can't do any of the proper ways to get out of here. Apparently. Because... What am I doing wrong here? Like, I legitimately don't know what it wants me to do. So, where's the walkthrough open? There. It seems like if you know the word of power, you can just open it. Oh, it's Death Star, not Despise. Fine, fine. It was the wrong word of power. Okay, figured it out. So, I-N-O-P-I-A. There. Finally. Alright. Enter. Yeah, kind of figured. So now we need to know the light spell. And I think I'll just look at a map for this dungeon to see how to get to the other side because I, I just want to leave the underworld. It's been hours of being stuck there. We haven't saved still. Maybe we should save. I'll save. No. There. So we're stuck with this. Now I just need to figure out how to get through here. So the light spell is in lore and requires ash. There. Fancy. 
Very fancy looking. Different colors and everything. All right, so Dastard. Oh, we're on level 8. And we're facing north. Okay. Oh, of course it's gonna be like that. <sighs> Maybe death is preferable to going through this dungeon. <laughs> At least there seems to be treasure. That's nice. I mean, if we die, we just lose some experience points. So it's not so bad. Wait, did the other dragons... Yes, the other dragons killed the other... Whatever. The dragons are killing each other. Don't think that's dragons. How dragons are supposed to work, but... That's nah, not stopping them. Oh, we've had our second death, right? I mean, if everyone dies by dragon... Yeah, that's two deaths and... in this fight alone. Yeah, I think we'll just die. Honestly. Try and loot for as long as I can. Oh, and we've got demons. Of course we... Lovely. There. We didn't lose too much. Uh, well, armed are you to fight Death's Embrace, so enlightened one, return once more to the world, for thy destiny awaits thee. Yeah, I don't think we lost too much experience. All right. Yeah, it seems we still have the stuff we found. So that's something. I'll take it. <laughs> Pro tip, don't go to the underworld. Just don't. Just leave it alone. Don't go there. They say there's an amulet down there. Just, just leave it. If Lord British doesn't need the amulet. He probably left it there himself when he was exploring the underworld. He can go fetch it himself. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> He's the one who went down to the underworld to like explore and chart it. And apparently lost his amulet along the way, but... Somehow his password protected, because... Uh, 
apparently we also need a word of power to get to the amulet. Anyway. I think that's going to be it for today. Because <laughs> it's 28.4 degrees and the game has been trolling me for several hours, so I feel very done. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, it's not really the enemies, it's just the game design. <laughs> the game design is just not it for this part of the game. So, yeah. I need a day where it's not this warm to deal with that level of frustration. So let's see, who are we going to raid today? Um, I think we'll go and raid Kim, who is playing a Zelda game. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> we'll find out probably. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, I am looking forward to opening all the windows and I'll have to babysit them in case it's gonna start raining again. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be enjoying plenty of fresh air. I'll be fine. I just need to do something that isn't playing Ultima 5 right now. <laughs> That's all. So... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with Roller Coaster Tycoon. Bye!